What's up, guys? Big day in the market today. Um, obviously, due to the fact that the CPI data came in better than expected. Um, tomorrow morning, we have um, preliminary consumer sentiment data at 10 a.m. So that's definitely going to affect the market intraday at 10 a.m. So we have to keep an eye on that. The first thing I want to take a look at is the dollar. So we see that the dollar is trading outside of the lower level of the Bollinger Band very, very far and extremely. All right. So we could continue seeing some more weakness down here to 107.5 essentially and 107 area on the dollar but if that does happen i would be very i would be pretty shocked because it's very very rare that the dollar does just continue to show a lot of weakness uh we did so not pragmatically we did see some weakness like this in the past uh during 2020 uh multiple times actually but i would be very very surprised to see because this hasn't really happened recently and as you can see if we do open if the dollar does open outside of the lower level of the bands um in my opinion we should get a bit of a bounce and as we know because so basically the dollar was very weak and that's why the market was very strong but when the dollar bounces which is what I'm assuming is going to happen. I, I think that the dollar should show some strength. So if the dollar goes up, then the stock market should, should go down. So currently we're holding on to some SPY puts and we're holding on to UVXY calls. And um, yeah, that's essentially my thought process for that. The dollar is very overextended to the downside. We had a seven, almost a seven and a half percent move in the NASDAQ. <laughs> in one day so um it's essentially sort of you're scaling into longer term puts to be safe or you're playing you know lotto calls expecting the market to continue going up but the odds are you know unless <laughs> it would be very very shocking to see if the dollar like continues to capitulate at this rate so that's why i think that we should get a bounce in the dollar and that's why i think that the market in general should get a bit of a um pullback the reason why we got into vix calls essentially uvxy calls is because the vix fell basically 10 percent today and usually when the vix falls this much intraday there is a bit of a bounce in the vix um over the coming days afterwards so as we know if the vix is doing well and if the vix is green then the stock market is also red so we have the vix very overextended to the downside big red day on the vix uh big red day on the dollar things are showing that we should get a bit of a pullback on the market but if we don't then it is what it is um one thing that we do need to take a look at is the bonds are showing a lot of strength obviously the bonds are going to show a lot of strength today the stock market in general showed a lot of strength but now we're starting to get to the upper level of the bands so the the only way that the market is going to continue going up is if the bonds continue showing a lot of strength and if the dollar continues showing a lot of weakness i don't think those things can happen they could but essentially it would be very very unlikely um but of course i mean anything can happen at this point but essentially i had a very very major level of resistance basically weeks and months ago we were looking at this 367 uh 360 uh 396 397 area of resistance um we technically did not even touch that yet but i mean we are, we're up 20 points for the day we could get another one probably we might get another one percent move to the upside maybe a one two percent move to the upside but if that does happen then that would be very very um good for getting into some more puts in my opinion because then we could play to this entire move essentially we could we could have this as a um a fib level so what i mean by that is go ahead and do this and uh we could also even sorry we could also even do this for um this candle itself because if we do end up continuing higher and we don't end up seeing these lows again right if this was um one second so say for example this was it right cpi data is bullish and the market is just doing great 
the market just continues going up. Fed Powell is never going to um, pivot again, right? We can basically use this as a low. 386, we would use this as a low. And um, if we do get a pullback to 389 to 390, we could look for a long with 386 as a, a stop. But again, like this is uh, this is a lot of strength. <laughs> um, I would be, you know, the way that the strength is going, it does make sense that we do get, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It would make sense that we do get a bit more of a move up tomorrow. But if we do, if we do end up hitting 400, maybe 403 tomorrow, I'm most likely going to buy into longer term puts. And um, that would be very, very interesting because the only way that the market is going to continue to sustain its move to the upside and continue to do well is if the Fed tapers back on interest rate hikes or they start QE. There's no sign of that happening yet. Um, so yeah, we just have to see, uh, what happens essentially. We did see a few days ago that the largest put to call ratio since March, 2020 happened a few days ago, right? And when the market has a large put to call ratio, it usually leads to a large squeeze. So this seems like the squeeze, right? <laughs> Obviously, uh, f primarily caused by, uh, CPI data coming in better than expected but overall i do think that um yeah i mean these spy puts they could not you know they're not gonna do that great maybe who knows but i'm very confident in uh the vix potentially getting a bounce um we got into uvxy calls and um those were up almost 20 percent so yeah, I mean, we just have to see essentially what happens. The other good thing that we didn't, so one of the other things that I want to look at was the fact that we didn't get a close above any of these major resistance levels from uh, October 25th. We didn't get a break above on the NASDAQ. We didn't get a break or close above on um, the IWM, and but we did on the SPY. So just the fact that the NASDAQ and the IWM did not break above is sort of... Um, worrisome essentially if you are bullish but um yeah that's that's really it essentially for the overall market um we're seeing a big bounce out of the crypto markets obviously this was a good buying opportunity buying in uh to weakness but um yeah i mean there's not really much else to look at uh the dollar is just let's just see if the dollar can get a bounce if the dollar gets a bounce you know then uh, the market should fall a bit. So yeah, aside from that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.